Now we play a round called School of Hard Mocks. This game involves Rob, Andy and Stuart, so if you could make your way to the performance area, please. This round is a stand-up challenge. I launch a wheel of news and whoever it chooses to stop, one of our performers must step forward and talk about that subject. The winner is whoever I think is the funniest. OK, here we go. Let's spin the wheel. The first subject is consumerism. Who wants to come in with that? Andy Parsons. So we, uh, we always like to have a go at politicians, don't we, for getting us into debt. But we, we're also addicted to debt, aren't we? People waste their stuff. Well, you know, loads of nonsense, isn't it? Things like personalised number plates. Don't ever do it. Anybody can get a personalised number plate, yeah? You can change your name by depot for a tenner, right? <laughs> Just change your name to your car registration number. <laughs> And it's the same people going, oh, yeah, look, I've got a new watch. I've got a new watch, I have. Yeah, it's a diver's watch, yeah? Goes down to a depth of 200 metres, this does. 200 metres is the depth of the North Sea. <laughs> if you find yourself at the bottom of the North Sea, <laughs> you're not diving. <laughs> the ship has sunk, the air bubble is running out, and it's going to be little consolation, you know what, the bloody time. <laughs> Thank you very much, Eddie Parsons. OK, let's spin the wheel again. The next bit is food. Who wants to come in at? Rob. Uh, I like food. I eat it most days. Um, <laughs> and uh, the thing is, that like, I've moved out with mum's now, so like, I go home and see my mum and dad and I'm excited to see them, but I'm more excited to see the contents of the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> but she's going to die at me, mum, right? She got all the brothers round, me brothers round for a Sunday lunch. You know what she did? The old family for Sunday lunch. Couscous. <laughs> for lunch. Right? <laughs> A wrong child line, I didn't want to know. <laughs> I don't trust couscous, to be honest with you. Anything you put in your mouth that feels already chewed should not be in there. <laughs> it's fat sand, I don't want any part of it. <laughs> she served it with toasted pita bread. Have you ever toasted pita? Anyway, well, why is it so hot? <laughs> I've had a bit of folded bread, what's its problem? <laughs> a little bit of toast pops out warm and toasty, the pita's on fire. <laughs> Once you get past the hour, I've got a dragon breath inside to deal with. <laughs> There's only two things in the world hotter than toasted pita bread. One's the sun, yeah? <laughs> and the other's a cheese and tomato toasted sandwich. <laughs> What's that prick's problem, right? <laughs> What's his problem? Do you know what I mean? The cheese, I've not got a problem with the cheese. The tomatoes? <laughs> they little slices of lava. <laughs> I'll like put you in a toasted sandwich maker at Dante's Peak. What are you doing? <laughs> You bite into it, you anchor onto the slice, you pull the sandwich away, the slice stays, slaps you on the face, <laughs> burns your face off. <laughs> Three days, had a big red circle like that. <laughs> I look like a thirsty dog. <laughs> well job, Rob. OK, that leaves us Stuart. Let's see what you've got. It's been the wheel. And the topic is jobs. Where are you go. Was my French teacher into golden showers? We. <laughs> oui. <laughs> I'm a Canadian comedian, but if people think I'm Russian, Soviet. <laughs> As a gynecologist, I was terrified of vaginas. I won't go into it. Very sad, I've just come back from the funeral of my coke dealer. <laughs> I was fired as a Boy Scout leader. I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> I used to be a sarcastic high jump coach. Get over it! I used to be a professional table tennis player in Southeast Asia, and recently I went back for a big party. Oh, it was a real Hong Kong ping pong ding dong. <laughs> and someone fired up the old karaoke machine. Oh, it was a real Hong Kong ping pong ding dong sing song. <laughs> and someone rang the doorbell. <laughs> cops. <laughs> it was the cops. I used to be a cop. One night, a guy asked me if he, uh, if he could urinate on my wrist. I said, not on my watch. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good night! 
Thank you very much, Stuart Francis. Points there for Stuart and Rob and Andy. What the hell? Come on, everyone gets points.